Hello guys, uh, I'm really sorry and I'm very apologetic to all of you that uh, I have been away for a long, very, very long time since I was involved in a very critical project since I am a freelancer as you know that and uh, I, I didn't had much time to create useful videos for you guys so I'm really sorry about this so <coughs> this time I, I come here with a very brief video about the oscilloscope like we know that oscilloscope we have used in Proteus simulator the oscilloscope very very much time we all have used this tool it has four channels and these each every channel is used to measure the signal across a component any component resistor capacitor inductor or any pane of the chip anything this four channel is used to measure the signal or voltage across the component with respect to the ground here ground is not shown but this oscilloscope by default measures the voltages with respect to the ground in this video i would show how to measure the voltage across any component not keeping the ground as a reference but to measure a voltage across a component itself so let's start i would simply create a voltage divider based on two resistors let's take one k resistor and another one k resistor very quickly going and let's place a voltage source Let's say it is one kilohertz, and place ground reference node. Now, this channel A, I am going to measure the signal across this one K R two resistor. Our main signal is a five volt amplitude signal with one kilohertz frequency, and the differential voltage that I'm going to use is is basically the voltage across the resistor R1 this C channel and this D channel both combined are used to measure the voltage across the resistor R1 this is the technique because in this oscilloscope we know that channel A and C can be used as A plus B like uh, the sum of the two signals and uh, the channel b and d can be inverted uh, so we can simply use a formula uh, of a minus b by inverting the d signal and adding this signal into the c uh, channel signal so we get simply the difference of uh, the difference of the source that that is generator and the voltage drop across the R2 so we get the voltage across R1 so let's see how it seems so here as we can see that uh, the yellow signal is the voltage the signal across R2 and uh, the R1 the, the signal across R1 is going to be shown with the help of channels channel C and D so we, we were, what we would do uh, is that we simply uh, we simply uh, invert uh, invert this channel D like you have seen that 180 degree uh, phase shift has occurred in the signal as you can see here inverted signal and we would simply add the C and D and this waveform would represent the voltage across the resistor R1 okay so if we can combine these two signals we can see that we can see that they both are nearly the same 